I uh, would like a question. The Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, is the Kiwi Build buying off the plans document correct, where it says, quote, there is insufficient funding for the Crown to deliver all 100,000 Kiwi Build dwellings by itself, end quote. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Jenny Salisa. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, Kiwi Build is an ambitious plan to build 100,000 homes over 10 years, starting from the 1st of July 2018. We had always intended for Kiwi Build to be a partnership between the Crown and developers, the Crown and iwi, builders and other participants. We expect the capital to be recycled across the programme and be sufficient for the government to build 100,000 affordable homes over a period of 10 years. Supplementary. What did he mean when he told the media yesterday, quote, the $2 billion will be spent many, many times over, over the next decade, end quote. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, what I meant when I made that quote is that as we build Kiwi Build homes, uh, affordable homes, it will be recycled. You sell off homes and then you reinvest that money over and over again to build more affordable Kiwi Build homes. Something that we are committed to doing, something that over nine years the member and her government didn't do, which was build affordable homes. Question. If that is correct, then why do his officials state that there is insufficient funding to deliver on his promise for the government to build 100,000 Kiwi build homes? Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, what that statement means is that the $2 billion on its own will have to be recycled over and over again. And we will be partnering with iwi, we will be partnering with private developers to ensure that we build affordable homes. We are in a national housing crisis right now that was built over nine years of that government. We are, we are very committed to building houses and to housing New Zealanders. Speaker. Which is correct? The Kiwi Build buying off the plans document that says there is not enough Crown funding for him to build the promised Kiwi Build homes, or himself, who yesterday said to the media, quote, I have no reason to think it won't be enough, end quote. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, we are committed to building affordable homes. We will be building 100,000 affordable homes over 10 years. While that member watched the housing become more and more unaffordable and did nothing, we're focused on making order, sure order, that we... Order, 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 order. I, think, I think we've had that. Thank you. Why did he tell media yesterday that the government, quote, will build, end quote, the Kiwi build dwellings, but his own officials document released the day before states that the government will now only, quote, facilitate private investors to build the Kiwi build houses? Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, this government is committed and will be building 100,000 affordable homes over 10 years. We will be partnering with developers to ensure that that happens. This government will be partnering with iwi and we will make sure that houses are built. Mayor Lubeck. To the Minister, how many homes were built in Auckland last year? Mr. No, Speaker. no, order, order. That, that might be an interesting question, but it doesn't flow from uh, either the primary or any of the supplementaries. To the Minister. When he said to the media yesterday that the government is going to build 100,000 Kiwi build homes, did he really mean that the government is going to subsidise private investors to build the homes that the government has promised but can't deliver. Mr Speaker, 
We will be partnering with developers to ensure that this happens. We always said order, order. that. Can the member resume his seat? Um, Mr. Goldsmith, I, that may or may not be true, but it's not appropriate for you to address me in that way. You will stand, withdraw, and apologise. Withdraw and apologise, Mr. Speaker. Jenny Salisa will start again. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister for Housing and Urban Development, in terms of price points, the prices that we are looking at are maximum prices. And if I can give an example from uh, the member's uh, own electorate, the example of a Kiwi built home in terms of McLennan, we have said that we will be building a house that will, that will cost around about $579,000 for a three bedroom house. Mr. Speaker, in Auckland, over the last year or so, order, Mr Speaker. Order. Nice try. Any further supplementaries? Uh, question number three, Virginia Anderson. To the Minister of Finance, what 